Hi, CV families. I am Jen Kraus. I am the coordinator and instructor of the CV Virtual Academy at the elementary level. If my face looks familiar to you, it's because I taught at Leola for 12 years and just recently jumped over to the Virtual Academy. I'm down here in the corner of your screen because today this video is called the Tour and Explore video. And it's just a way for interested families like yourself to get a lay of the land, virtually of course, of what makes CV Virtual Academy different from traditional schooling, different from cyber charter, and different from homeschooling. This is kind of our first step to get to know each other, and it also is going to help you determine whether CVVA is the right fit for your family. So, since we're on a tour, I'm actually going to take you into our first tour stop. It is the CV website, and here at the CV website, head over to the Departments tab and click on CV Virtual Academy. Inside here, you'll see that we've got tabs along the left-hand side. We particularly want to focus on the Elementary tab here which has been updated. So if you haven't been here in the past week, make sure that as soon as you're done the Tour and Explore video, you stop by and check this out. The CV Virtual Academy at the elementary level is a modern learning experience that's relationship driven. This is at the backbone of the CV Virtual Academy. We understand that online learning cannot exist just by itself. There are important relationships that need to be cultivated and developed, and doing relationships and the modern online learning is what blends together to create such a unique opportunity called the CV Virtual Academy. I would really encourage you to go ahead and start here to better understand how these two aspects work in tandem, how they work together. You're going to hear from the previous instructor, Jill Kennett. You'll hear from the learner's point of view as to how it feels and what they enjoy about the CV Virtual Academy. You're also going to hear what it's like from a parent's point of view, which we call the learning coach. I would really, highly, strongly, cannot recommend this enough, that as soon as our tour here is over, you pop over to the website and watch this video because I think it's gonna answer a lot of your questions. So as we move down here through the page, this is just a little bit of an introduction. And I wanted you to go ahead and imagine desks and chairs are now a lounge-inspired hub called the Learning Center. That's one key difference to the Virtual Academy. Another key difference is textbooks and tests are now viewed as a learning journey, where we're not doing certain chapters at certain times that feel highly structured and highly pressured. Instead, here at CVVA, we see your child's growth as a journey, part of a larger process for them. And it's all supported by K-12 which is an award-winning platform regarded that as one of the highest curriculums online. Learners can go at their own individual pace and can dive into all different kinds of topics that are available through K-12, all from home. So this is not going to be the online learning experience that you may have had at the end of last year. This is a robust program and CVVA has existed since 2007. For our video today, we're just gonna peek over at the Learning Center tab. This is really our hub for personal and interpersonal development. This exists to give learners an opportunity to cultivate safe and healthy relationships with themselves and with other learners that are not just at their grade level, but possibly grade levels higher or lower than as well. The Learning Center is a great experience for your child to develop these emotional skills, empathy, communication, self-regulation, emotional balance. We understand that these skills are an asset to any individual growing up in our global society. And so this is why the Learning Center exists. You can see some topics here that have existed in the past and get a glimpse as to what the Learning Center looks like. Now, um, 
I do also want to point out a second step on our tour is actually on our Facebook page. I'm pointing this out to you now because this can really give you a lot of visuals as to what it's like to be inside of the Learning Center. As you scroll down our Facebook page, you'll see some videos of some of those social experiences, but I would really like to point you into some of the photos that we have because I really believe that by peeking inside of 50 different photos, you'll be able to see what the Learning Center has to offer. So go ahead and check that out. Another big difference that we talked about is this learning journey, and that is supported by K-12. Many of you have questions of what online learning looks like in the Virtual Academy. So today, it's your lucky day, because our next stop on our tour is inside K-12. Here. I am signed in as a demo student so that you can see what it looks like to be a second grader inside of the K-12 platform. Most of the platform looks pretty similar. When a child is logged in, they're going to have a to-do list for today that is broken out for K-12 so that your child can understand what small pieces need to be completed and see how they're part of a bigger process. These lesson shortcuts here in the middle, there's a lot of them here right now because this demo account hasn't been doing much work lately, but typically you'll see much less existing here in the middle if you're not falling behind. You'll see there's social studies, vocabulary, math, and we're gonna head inside of one of those lessons. Let's go inside the vocabulary lesson. One thing that I like to point out is that each lesson has an introduction, and you can kind of see the format. Today we have an introduction and a little bit of practice and then a wrap up. The introduction just kind of grabs their attention, hooks them in, and maybe provides some opportunity to them think about what does this look like in the real world. At every lesson, you'll have the opportunity that the child can have it read to them and even a little focus bar for them to scroll down so that their eyes can stay focused where they're reading. There's also a couple of other features here like translations and definitions as well. Along the right hand side as you move through the lessons, if there are any materials that your child or the learning coach need to access, it'll state those right up front for you. And a lot of the lesson is interactive. It's going to be game format. It's going to be something that's highly visual for them as well. So this gives you a peek as to what the lesson introduction can look like. Another part of each lesson is the learn phase, and this is kind of where the direct instruction happens. Let's head into a math lesson and see if we can find Ah, okay, here we go. Down on the left side, again, that lesson introduction that we talked about, you'll have a get ready section, and that helps um, them to get prepared for what they're about to do, kind of like a try it section. There'll be the learn section, which is really a guided exploration. Again, it's highly interactive, questions, videos. If there are materials on the right-hand side, they'll show them there. And as they move through the lesson, the green little checkbox will give them that little extra boost and encouragement that they are on task. Here's a try it section. And here you'll see the materials list is actually having the learner do a lot of hands-on learning. So even though K-12 operates online, all of these materials and supplies are provided to the family. So don't think of this as just completely living separately online. You're gonna be doing hands-on activities along with your child if you're learning at home through the virtual academy. Some lessons even have an assessment and sometimes they don't, but hopefully this gives you a glimpse as to what some of the lessons look like. You also have a messaging features. I can push announcements to the entire class. And probably one of my favorite sections are right up here in the plan tab. Your child is given a daily plan every day. Again, this plan looks quite lengthy because this second grader was not doing a lot of work. 
but you'll be able to see these green dots fill in when they're completed and you'll also be able to see if there is an assessment associated with the lesson or no assessment at all. Let's say that your family's busy that day and you need to go back and make it up. That's totally fine. Another cool feature inside of K-12 is called the weekly plan. Again, this helps illustrate that your child's learning is part of a longer journey. And so you can work ahead if you'd like to. This is the basics of what K-12 looks like inside of this learning platform. You can contact us. Again, there are materials that are provided for you and there's even materials that are specifically for the learning coach, the parent in this situation. So you feel equipped and guided with specific skills and strategies of what your child is doing along the way. If your family decides to commit to the CV Virtual Academy, we'll be sure that we align all of the K-12 courses with your child as we see them as an individual. Another feature of the CV Virtual Academy that I wanna point out to you is that CVVA families are part of a relationship that families that are experiencing this new modern take on online learning, make sure that you remember that you've got a relationship with Conestoga Valley. That means that you have an experienced instructor, me, along with a full-time aide. So whether or not you're in the learning center or you're doing your learning at home, you have access to be able to tap into, my child's having trouble with this, or we've taken the assessment and they did not do very well, can they take it again? The answer is yes. But of course, I'm gonna come alongside your learner and come alongside you as well to make sure that you're staying on track through your learning journey and that if we hit major obstacles, we tackle them together. This ends our tour and explore of CVVA. Hopefully now you've got some resources like the CV website, the Facebook page, as well as the K-12 online platform, and that you feel like you might be able to go to the next step. Head back to the original email that I sent this to you in and be sure to let us know if you feel like this is the right choice for your family, you're gonna move on to the next step of the process. If you have any questions along the way, they'll be answered at the next step, which is called the information meeting. So head back to the email, fill out the survey, and let us know what you're thinking. Thanks.